Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're gonna to be checking out Akamai's KPS Wavemaker Pump. Here's the thing. They've been around for a while, but in my opinion, they are one of the most underutilized and underappreciated pumps, especially for nano reefers. These things have all the control. They're tiny. They are incredibly affordable. I mean, what's not to love? It's about time we take another look, so uh, let's dive into this. Water circulation is super important to our success as reef keepers. Having copious amounts of beneficial flow in our reefs helps bring food, nutrients, and needed elements to our corals while removing byproducts and waste. Without proper flow, our corals just can't thrive, regardless of what kind of lighting or perfect parameters we throw at them. While there are lots of fantastic wave pump options out there, finding a compact, unobtrusive, and affordable nano-sized pump that can provide the same level of control and customization as the larger mainstream wave pumps in our hobby has always been a challenge. Either we go for something that is larger, pricier, and needs to be turned down considerably, but has all the features we want, or we go for those much smaller, inexpensive, and less obtrusive nano-rated AC pumps that lack any kind of control, but can get the job done. And for sure, there have been a few small pumps here and there that fall somewhere in the middle. However, none of them quite embody that perfect balance of price, performance, and features quite as well as the KPS does. Akamai's KPS takes all of the best features of the Coralia Gen 3 pumps and then adds a DC motor, Wi-Fi app control with six flow modes, 24-hour custom scheduling, a low-profile DMSS mount with lots of articulation, and crams all of it, along with 1,050 gallons per hour of flow, into a pump the size of a chicken egg. And it is for those reasons, plus a few more, that it is, in my humble opinion, the most underrated flow pump for nano reef tanks that is currently available. Plus, it is shockingly affordable, which just adds to my confusion as to why more people aren't in love with this little pump. So let's get it out of the box and dig into it a bit. In the box, you'll find the KPS Wavemaker pump, the controller, the power supply and power cable, some cable management accessories, and the user manual. The Akamai KP pumps are actually available in two sizes. The KPS pushes 1,050 gallons per hour and is rated for tanks between 10 and 50 gallons, while the larger KPM tops out at 2,700 gallons per hour for tanks between 50 and 125 gallons. They are both fantastic pumps for their price points, but I'm gonna be focusing on the smaller KPS in this video as it's uniquely awesome for Pico and Nano tanks that want an app controlled pump with a ton of customization. Plus, it's the most affordable Wi-Fi controlled wave pump out there from a reputable brand that reefers have trusted for over a decade. With that said, everything we talk about regarding the KPS is also going to apply to the KPM, save for the obvious like the dimensions, the flow rating, and the magnet strength. The KPS is tiny, coming in at only 2.5 by 1.9 inches, which is phenomenal for sneaking it into smaller reef aquariums or tight spots. It also means that it's easy to hide and won't draw your eye away from your beautiful reef tank. Akamai took it a step further with their DMSS or dual magnet support system using a flexible silicone suction cup with an internal magnet to both cradle and hold the pump to the mount, as well as to hold the mount with the pump to panels up to 0.59 inches thick. The result is a very low profile mount with a large range of positioning for directing the flow to where you need it most, regardless of where you'd like the pump to be mounted in the tank. Plus, the design is inherently vibration absorbing, which keeps this already super quiet pump basically inaudible. Sure, you'd probably be able to hear something if everything in the room was off and then everything on the tank was off other than just that pump and the pump was turned all the way up to 100% intensity and you were standing right beside the tank on the side the pump was on but that would just be you trying to prove me wrong. Which is actually cool because you'd really just be helping me prove my point. The flow pattern that the KPS delivers is similar to other wide propeller style pumps like the Coralia Gen 3s, for example, a wide, gentle, yet turbulent cone of flow that gets a lot of water moving without being overwhelming to corals directly across from the pump. With that said, the KPS does still have quite a bit of punch and does a good job of getting flow moving from one end to the other end on a three foot tank like my 300 XL here. More impressive, however, is the amount of actual control you get over said flow pattern when you hook the pump up to the Akamai app. The app gives you access to six different flow modes, including constant, wave, smooth, random, feed, and night modes that can be individually customized. 
It also gives you the ability to create 24 hour schedules that can switch between different modes every 30 minutes, a slew of spiffy preset schedules to choose from based on the size and type of reef that you have, so you don't have to create one yourself. Plus, you can save your own custom presets and copy them over to new pumps rather than having to remake them from scratch, which is something I can really appreciate. The controller itself has an LED indicator light that will match the color and pulse frequency of the flow mode that is currently running, so you can always see what your pump is doing at a quick glance without having to whip out your phone. You can also trigger a 10 minute feed mode that will stop the pump completely by pressing the button down for two seconds. You can also cancel that feed mode at any time by pressing the button again. So if you've been looking for a tiny, affordable, yet powerful little DC wave pump that has those top tier features without the top dollar price tag, you can pick up a KPS for yourself by clicking right here. I love this pump.